Horsey drill. This may not be something all three of these things I don't think all of you can do. But what one of the things that I think is very critical to playing good offense and clearing the ball is how to circle throwback. Very few of our kids know how to circle throwback. But this horsey drill is how you teach guys a circle throwback, how to throw a slice pass, or people call it a pole pass, or how do you step back throwback. I don't think many of your kids can step back throwback, but they all have to, should know how to circle throwback, all right? What we would do, let's just look at circle throwback right now, not, not all of it. Um, well, this was like a pregame drill we used to do. The middies would be in front of the goal, the attack would be behind, and they would be, these guys are probably just outside the hash mark at the timeline. This, this guy has the ball, he runs down about 15, maybe 12 yards, and he circles and throws back. What you want to do is catch the ball from there on the other side of the field. Right? What our guys tend to do is, when this guy's driving here, they tend to drift all the way over here. So when you catch the ball, you can't attack the backside. You gotta run all the way over here. If this is the Rido line, he wants to throw the ball just the opposite side so we can attack backside. What our kids tend to do is run all the way over here. Now we can't attack the backside. All right? The challenge here is the teaching technique on circle throwback is to change hands after you finish circling. What most of our guys, MD, if I'm this guy here, they're gonna run down. They're gonna, the reason I'm circling is so my defenseman's in front of me. They're gonna change hands and sticks behind them. All they're gonna do is they're gonna do this. They're gonna spin back. Not, it's not a change of direction. When they go, they can circle, step out, circle, now change hands and throw. Don't change hands till you're done. One of the things we've found that's teaching doing a good job is as they go, we tell them to throw their stick and chase it. Look at your stick and chase it, then change hands and throw. And you can throw your stick out because the reason you're circling is because the defenseman's in front of you. I can't do this, I don't want to do this, but if I throw it here, I can then look at it and chase, so I'm making a big circle. We used to put cones down for these guys. So it's more of that kind of motion. All right, he throws across, he dodges lefty, circles, changes hands, throws across. This, this guy has to move to this spot. When he's running to here, he's catching that ball in a triple threat position. He's catching here. We don't want him catching like this. We don't want him catching here. We want him catching upfield and, and, and my hips turn towards the goal. So we don't want them catching in the line. We're gonna put a cone about here, making him run to here. Catch him there, dodge, circle. He now runs to that cone, circle, throw, and go. They just keep on going. Keep on going. After two or three minutes, switch sides. Do it again. And then you're done, okay? And you're tapping the same thing behind. Once you're done, then you can do a pole pass, which is you run down and throw the ball right across your body. So if I'm running down here, I'm gonna throw the ball back to that door, I'm just doing this. I'm not sure how many of your kids can do that yet. Uh, that's a pole pass or slice pass. Step back, throw back is more difficult. If I'm dodging right-handed, I'll throw the ball to that, that door again. I'm gonna plant my outside foot, pivot my hips, back pedal, and throw the ball. You see most college guys, that's how they're transferring the ball across now. They're not circling, throwing back, because it takes too much time. They're coming here, they're pivoting, they're creating space and then throwing the ball. It takes a lot of strength because you have no, you have no hips, you're, running, you're back pedaling on the way, it takes a lot of strength. But if you can do it, 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 it reduces the amount of recovery time on the defense, all right? So what we used to do is, you know, 30 seconds this way, blow the whistle, switch lines, 30 seconds, circle throw back, then 30 seconds, pole pass, switch lines, 30 seconds, pole pass, Switch lines. Is this yeah. Two Should be no. All your middies. Uh, and you can have your tack behind. 
You don't have enough, do it up front for five minutes and do it, do it X for five minutes. Now at X, the challenge is have your lines a little wider. And have one cone right at X. So he he circles. He has to run to that cone, catch it, attack, circle. He has to run to that cone, catch, circle. Next guy runs to that cone. Right. So you don't. What you want to do is make that attack and have to move to be in position to catch the ball, not stand still in line. Your decision. We taught. So what side of the line, what side of the rider line do you want the X attack and catch the ball? Opposite from where the ball came from. But that also depends upon his angle. If this guy's up here, he can't do that. But this, if this guy's circling, he should be able to catch the ball opposite because we want to attack there. It gives it, it allows us to attack the opposite side faster. Opposite side the ball came from.